Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck and Around Deck Specs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rulers of Korea playing cards. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell. So this deck was printed by USPCC on their standard stock. It is part of an unspecified print run and it retailed on Kickstarter for about $15 US with the exchange rate. It was actually a Canadian based campaign. So let's check this deck out. I think one of the really cool things about this just from the jump is that all of the cards were actually um, watercolor paintings that were then converted to playing cards. You can see somewhat of a watercolor style to the tuck box itself. There's no embossing or foiling on the tuck box. It's relatively standard in that capacity, but obviously it's fully custom, the artwork and everything. And that is the website of the artist there, moonyum.com. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite decks that has come out in a while, just because of the customization that went into it. Obviously being a standard bicycle deck, fans beautiful. The border on the back is a little bit bigger than I would have liked, but otherwise, it's a really nice back design there. See these two uh, distinctly different jokers. And then all of the ace of spades are just, or all of the aces are really well done. They actually had prints available, original prints of all the aces during the campaign, which I thought was really cool. And I really just love the, the style of this entire deck. The watercolor aspect of it really comes through nicely in all of the ports and those aces. Man, she does and such good some, work. Yeah. Then you get some really like interesting styling to the pips where it's like a triple layer there to give it some depth. And it looks like they're oh, all she... custom. Like even even the pips look like they're done separately. So they do kind of get reused throughout. So you'll notice some of the same little differentiations. Through. Right. But um but for the most part, yeah, they have such great looking artwork oh, yeah, on so it. So good. And again, being a you know a standard bicycle deck, like stock wise, it feels and handles great in hand. But to have that fully custom look to it, like all of the aces are just so amazing. There's actually a third Joker and then a signature card as kind of the two add cards for it. But between the back design, which you will notice is a one way back design, and then all of the custom artwork, this deck really just goes next level. The fact again that all of the all of the court cards and all of the aces were actually hand painted and then i guess shrunk down and turned into playing cards just absolutely blows my mind the, the yeah. amount of detail that really went into it and the amount of just work and effort that went into each watercolor painting is spectacular yeah uh, the only thing i can say is like you uh you know i would definitely have liked to see that border a little smaller yeah, I think it, it's a it's a chunky border. It really is. It's probably one of the thicker borders I've seen in a while, and it actually loses some of the fun aspects of the deck, the fan, yeah. because of it. Like there's beautiful dot a dot border around the fan or around the deck itself that would have fanned beautifully, but because the white borders are so thick, you almost barely see it. So a little yeah. bit of a thinner border there would I think gone a long way. But otherwise, the artwork on it is really phenomenal campaign also had the option to get art prints with it and then like i said all of the aces were available as original water watercolor uh paintings as well and they sold out almost you know immediately campaign, yeah so yeah she does amazing work she really does the one interesting thing it would have been to see as well was this was supposed to be printed on cardamundi b9 slimline and i think Personally, I would have enjoyed that more. I think it would have handled it a little bit better. But this is such a collector's deck that I don't think at the end of the day it makes that much of a difference. Oh, agree. Thanks everyone for checking out this episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We drop these every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. So be sure to keep an eye out.